in the wild, wild west, there was good guys, and there was bad guys, and then there was catastrophe. Catastrophe Jones, the rootinest, tootinest, highfalutinest, sharp shootinest cowboy, whatever rode the wild range. All summer long, he and his friends will be bringing their special brand of Bible lessons right here to the Bible barn at Camp Bancher. Let's head on over and learn about the wonders of God's creation. Doggy! Whoo, doggy! Howdy, howdy there, kids. Welcome back. It's our last week at the Bible barn, so let's all go out in style. Everyone stand to your feet. Raise your right hand. Let's all say our campus code one last time together. I will love God with all my heart. I will love my neighbor as myself. I will be a light wherever I go. Y'all can have a seat. Good job. You hear that? I think it's Wyoming. Oh, I got Smith. Hey, Wyoming. Yeah, I'm over here. What are you, what are you holding there? I got Smith. What you got? I got Smith. Mail? Well, well, that's exciting. I mean, it's exciting getting mail, but we get mail every day. Is there something special in today's mail? Oh, I'd say it's special, all right. I got some new job. <laughs> oh, well, you know what? Getting a new job usually is good news. Well, yeah, I guess it's good. You see, I guess to go build churches. But the problem is it's all the way over in New Zealand. <laughs> oh, well, that's great, Wyoming. I hear New Zealand's a right pretty place. Oh, no, I don't like any of them new places, you know. New Zealand, New Jersey, um, oh, New Smyrna, oh, Fig Newtons. Mm, oh, I don't like any of places. now, now. New places can be a little scary, but I'm sure you'll be all right. Yeah, you know what? It, whenever God has led you in the past, he's never let you down, has he? Well, no, but, but it's all the way to New Zealand and... And the people be all New Zealandy and stuff, and mm. I got to leave you and Grammy behind, and and who's gonna make me biscuits and gravy when I want them? Mm. And and what if it's scary over there? Well, it might be a little scary. I mean, sometimes new places are scary, but you know what? When God calls you, you just gotta trust Him and follow His lead. Well, now wait a second. You, is you telling me that sometimes God can call people to move? Oh yeah, sure. It happens in the Bible all the time. I'll show you. There, yeah, let me shoot down that can. Kids, get out your pretend slingshots one last time. Ready? Aim fire! Wow! I can. Let's see what it says. Be it careful. It says, there. Uh, "God calls Abram." Hmm. Uh, now wait a second. I thought his name was Abraham. Well, actually, his name started out as Abram, but God was about to change his name forever. Oh, all right. Oh, can I get this Bible one last time? Yeah, sure. Knock yourself out. Oh, all right. Oh, no, I, I meant have fun Ooh. and get Ooh. the Bible. Oh, okay, okay, hold on. Yeah, man, clown. Get the Bible yeah. out here. Just get it right here. Oh, oh, oh get that chicken. Oh. I'm going to miss that, fella. Fry that bird up nice and good. I can there we feeling. go. Well, you can keep the feathers. All right. All right. The Bible says, the Lord had said to Abram, leave your country, your people, and your father's household, and go to the land I will show you. Wait, is you telling me that God called Abram to leave his family and his country behind and go to a place he'd never been before? Yep, but God was going to help him and to lead him to just the right place. Wait, wait, but how's he knows he's going to the right place? Or what if God made a mistake? <laughs> God don't make no mistakes. Anyway, Abram obeyed, and he trusted that God would give him exactly what he needed. Oh, man, trusting is hard work. Woo. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know what? Trusting can be hard, but we got to have faith. See, these kids know what that means. I mean, every year they have to move up to a new grade and sometimes to a new school, maybe even a new town. Oh, you do? Oh, you poor things. <laughs> yeah, raise your hand if you have ever had to go into a new classroom with a new teacher and new people. See that? Every oh, one of them. Oh, man. Oh, how's you guys doing? I'd be so scared. Oh. <laughs> well, you know what? Abram might have been a little bit nervous, too, but... Not knowing where you're going can be scary, but God said that he would show Abram the way. So Abram trusted God that he was going to give him everything he needed to get there. Yep, <laughs> including directions. Woo. So Abram obeyed God and went into the new land, and God told him, to your offspring, I will give this land. Oh, that's so nice. So God promised that Abraham would have a lunch of little babies, and they would be a great nation. Mm -hmm. Wait a second. Maybe that's why God's calling me to New Zealand. 
Yeah. Maybe I'm going to meet a beautiful woman, and she'll be my wife, and we'll have a whole bunch of little Wyomings running around. Whoa, <laughs> a whole mess of Wyomings. Now that is scary. Well, I'm not scared as that, but I do has a question. Well, mm. Why is Mr. Rabbit today's camp critter? Well, you remember how God promised to make Abraham the father of many? Oh, that makes sense, because rabbits are sometimes known for having lots of little babies. That's right. That's right. So maybe that's why he's a camp critter. Are you supposed to be the father of many Mr. Sprinkles? Yes, he is. He, he reminds us of Abraham. That's right. And there's one more thing you need to know about this story. What's that? One of the first things Abram did when he got to the new land was to build an altar to thank God for the new land. Oh, I'm sure that Abraham was so grateful to God for all he had done. I hope to build a ton of altars in New Zealand. <laughs> there you go. Before we go, can we sing the Camp Critter song one more time? That's a great idea. Mr. Ben, <laughs> would you and the band lead us in the Camp Critter song? Absolutely. We're going to need someone to raise that flag, That's though. a good idea. Jason, would you like to raise the flag? There you go. Pull her up. There you go. Let me get that off. All right. Let's get that rabbit up that pole. There he goes. There he goes. Scurry <laughs> up there, fella. Thank you, Jace. All right. Yeah, give him a give round him of hand. applause. Awesome. All right, so the rabbit must go like this, right? And do a little hopping. Yeah? All right. Take it away, Mr. Bell. Oh, you're going to need to stand up. Yeah, sorry about that. Saddle there. on their horses. There you go. Get on them horses. singing it. What do you say we go super fast? Can we do that? Do you guys yeah, think we can go super fast? Yeah, super fast. Do you guys think we can go super fast? Yeah. All right, we're going to give it a try. You guys are dismissed to your classroom.